I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Esther, chapter 6, and let's focus on verses 1 through 3. That night the king couldn't sleep, so he ordered the records of the daily journal brought, and they were read to the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told about uh, Big Tana and Teresh, two of the king's officers from the group in charge of the private entryways, who had conspired to assassinate the king Ahasuerus. And then the king asked, What honor or distinction was conferred on Mordecai for this? And the king's servants answered and said, Nothing was done for him. UCLA basketball coaching legend John Wooden had an endearing impact on his players. And even after his players left to pursue their respective careers, many of them considered Wooden almost like a father more than a coach. And one of the unorthodox things that Wooden would do to establish trust in his players was to teach each recruit how to properly put on their socks and tie their shoes. (laughs) That's a simple thing, but it built that sort of father-son relationship. And it sent the message, it doesn't matter what you think you know, I am going to teach you how to play the game from the ground up. And there's nothing quite like lacing up gym shoes in anticipation for an upcoming sporting event. Now, forgive me for trying to make the tying of shoes into some kind of spiritual experience. That's not my point. The whole process of tying shoes is just such a good analogy for the book of Esther. Because lacing shoes takes mental effort that subconsciously anticipates a struggle that is about to take place in the sporting world. And the laces of Esther's story are interwoven much like gym shoes. The laces that seem to work at cross purposes to to each other, they're finally revealed to be drawn up together. The author of the book of Esther is weaving the laces of the story together in such a nonchalant way, just like putting on your shoes. And we're almost surprised when things begin to cinch tightly together when seemingly unrelated or even opposing agendas suddenly cinch together to accomplish God's will. You know what that's called? It's called providence. It means that God has been working from an elevated perspective, and He's viewing the big picture in ways that are impossible for us to perceive. You know, here on earth, at the pedestrian level, we can only see from a very limited perspective. And that means we must trust that God is all-knowing, that He's all-powerful, He's ever-present, and that His character never changes. So in today's passage, we feel those laces cinching together in a way that nobody could have predicted. And we can only read today's chapter and then praise the Lord for doing something that only He could accomplish. You know, He awoke the king in the middle of the night. And he gave him a strong desire to read the records of his daily journal. And that is where he discovered Mordecai, was never honored or appreciated for his heroic and patriotic act to save his own life. So do the circumstances of your life seem loose, contradictory, and randomly unrelated? Well, God causes all things to work together. And He can literally cinch up the shoelaces of your life for the good, for everybody who loves Him and are called according to His purpose. So what is our responsibility? Be about His purpose. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And your giving to Groundworks Ministries transforms lives. If you're giving to Groundworks Ministries presently, thank you, because your giving has allowed for this to reach people. But we need other people to help and to join us as well. So if you're not donating to Groundworks Ministries, would you consider making a donation today? Because we really do need your monthly support now more than ever. And donating is secure and it's easy at our website groundworksministries.com. Another way to help is to tell people about us. Tell them about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with friends and family. Share them on your social media. And of course, we can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.